Last summer, we saw Blake Lively take down the shark. Now this summer, we see Mandy Moore and Claire Holt take down the shark. Is it any good? Let's see. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review 47 Meters Down. So 47 Meters Down is about these two young women played by Mandy Moore and Claire Holt. They go on a vacation to Mexico and everything is just all normal and typical until these two women, they decide to go inside a cage and then they get themselves into a situation where they are now trapped underwater inside this cage with the amount of oxygen that they have left. It's up to them to survive breathing under water as well as surviving these great white sharks that they have to face. So 47 Meters Down is honestly a film I didn't really have too much expectations for. It was just whatever like okay it's just there and I know originally this was supposed to be a straight to DVD movie or VOD movie but because of the success of The Shallows last summer they decided that hey yeah let's just push for next summer and so they're taking a chance with this which um you know on the studio's part that's actually pretty nice I know a different studio actually took this film and now it's theatrical and the movie does star Mandy Moore and I honestly like Mandy Moore it's too bad I don't see her do a lot of movies because Whenever she does do a movie, I look forward to it because I think Maddie Moore is a very good actress. You know, with me liking The Shallows, because I did actually think that was a really fun summer film, um, I was really hoping 47 Meters Down, even with my pretty in the middle expectations, it could be a good film and even be one of the biggest surprises of the summer. And unfortunately, 47 Meters Down is not that. I didn't necessarily hate watching this film. Um, there's definitely some things to enjoy, but overall, I honestly didn't find this film to be really all that good. Now, to start off with my positives, I do think Mandy Moore is actually very good here. And her character is very one-dimensional. There's really nothing special about her character. But if I have to say there's a huge reason why I somewhat latched on to Mandy Moore's character, it's because Mandy Moore was giving it her all. She's without a doubt the best actress in this film. She might even be the only good actress in this film. I really like Mandy Moore and I thought she did a very good job here for the script which is not really all that good in my humble opinion but for what the script gives her and what she needed to do with her character I thought she did a very good job. As far as cinematography okay when they're outside which is like 10% of the movie when they're outside yeah the cinematography isn't really all that good it does have that straight to DVD feeling which makes sense considering this was originally going to be straight to DVD however when they're underwater which is about 90% of the movie which I have to say is very impressive. I find it very impressive that 90% of this movie was actually shot underwater. I can't imagine how hard that must have been for both actresses and the cameraman, but I give them a lot of props and a lot of credit for taking such a huge risk. And underwater wise, that's where the cinematography is actually really good. That's where this film honestly didn't really feel straight to DVD as far as cinematography, as far as like storytelling and where they go with it. Yeah, yeah, it does feel straight to DVD, unfortunately, but as far as cinematography underwater, it honestly looks really beautiful, it looks really clear, and I liked where they took you underwater, and I have to definitely give the filmmakers a lot of props. Any scenes dealing with the sharks I thought were very intense, they were very exciting. I was at the edge of my seat, definitely. I thought they were very suspenseful moments, and I liked the camera movements whenever we did get to those moments. Most of them don't really come until like the third act. The shark scenes are like far in between when it comes to the first two acts, but I did think that the shark scenes whenever they were there were really good. The third act I thought was very exciting and that's where I thought 47 Meters Down was actually very exciting and very fun was when we got to that third act. I will say the shark 
actually does look really good like the visuals on the shark are actually very believable that's another positive i gotta give this film whereas the shark in the shell as i'll say wasn't that great looking and to the movie's credit in my opinion i thought the ending was actually really really good honestly like that ending took me by Surprise. It was a risky move for sure. I thought it did make sense, especially if you pay attention to a certain scene that happened early on the movie and you kind of connect the dots when we do get to that big twist at the end. It makes sense, honestly, why they ended it that way. I did think the risk here paid off, although I can understand where some people will be very baffled by the ending. I really can understand that. Now, as far as my negatives with 40 centimeters down, I mentioned how I thought Mandy Moore was really good. Claire Holt, however, complete opposite of Mandy Moore. And I'm sure the actress is really nice, and I don't know if she's done a whole lot in her filmography, but here she was really, really bad. And her delivery with the dialogue is really unwatchable. Like Mandy Moore, she's given very poor dialogue too, but I think it's because of how good she is as an actress that the way she delivers the not so good dialogue, she's able to make them, um, I guess, tolerable if that makes sense, but with Claire Holt, the poor dialogue she's given, she can't save it. And I thought her acting chops were really bad. I thought she was very unbelievable. Props to her for having to film this movie underwater. As far as the acting department and her facial expressions, her line delivery, I thought it fell completely flat. She was absolutely terrible here and I could not care about her character at all. At least with Mandy Moore, as I said earlier, I was somewhat latched onto her one dimensional character because of how good she was, but not at all with Claire Holt. Also, as far as the rest of the actors, which you really only see in the beginning and ending of the film, they were not very good either. They were honestly very bland, they were very forgettable, very stale. They were just there. The rest of the acting, I honestly was not very impressed with. Any scene when the sharks are not attacking, when they're not trying to get the girls from the cage that they're stuck in, honestly, this film gets really bad boring. I could not latch on to the character development because the movie does try to develop these two characters and honestly I did not find it very believable whatsoever. And the motivation too for why these girls even go underwater in the shark cage. I thought it was a very stupid reason. The reason these girls go to the shark tank is because Lisa's boyfriend dumps her. She made the their relationship boring because she's a boring person so for Mandy Moore's character Lisa to be proven to be not a very boring character they go inside the shark cage and um, yeah they're stuck 47 meters down underwater it was a dumb motivation, honestly. Like with The Shallows last summer, it made sense why Blake Lively was out at that beach. It was perfectly understandable, but here, it was a very dumb reason for these characters to even be in such a peril. Overall, 47 meters down, whenever there's no sharks attacking these women, it's honestly a very bland and dull movie and a development I personally found to be very weak and honestly if it wasn't for that third act and that twist when it really comes down to my rating for this film I'm gonna give 47 meters down two and a half out of four stars a pretty generous two and a half this was gonna be a two-star movie but because of the exciting third act and because of that well done twist I will give it two and a half. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what you think about 47 meters down. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.